why in why the areas in particular that it does that it refuses to help the people i'm not sure and i don't think anyone knows the answer to that and lithium is in ev electric vehicles and also ai technology and um i do think that we're in a unique position in human history right now where ai is the future whether we like it or not the country with the best ai will rule the world this is the modern day arms race and this is the us government's efforts to make that possible so we can all we can have all of those resources be sourced in the united states and we don't have to rely on other countries to import them I want them shut down. I want them silenced. I want them muted. I think they are horrible for our society. All right, joining me now is Joy Backless Cruz. And she's been popular on Instagram. Recently, her ex account has blown up. She did a video following up with Hurricane Helene, talking about weather modification, talking about the aftermath, government agendas, dealing with that. And so this is one of those times where this is a, uh, this is a, uh, how should we say? She comes highly recommended to be on the show to cover this stuff. And so we decided to get her on. And uh, Joy, I went back and I was looking at some of your other work. You also covered the aftermath of the Maui wildfires. And so, you know, maybe there's something similar that these two events have in common. So, uh, Joy, why don't, why don't we just kind of ask that question? What do you see? What similarities do you see? Because that was a big scandal, too. What similarities do you see between the Maui wildfires and Hurricane Helene? Well, the, the biggest similarity between the two was it's very interesting to say, looking at the situation, to realize that FEMA is not really doing anything to help people. But, but not only that. It's blocking people. Now, so you can't say that FEMA just doesn't have the funds or the interest to help the people because it doesn't care. It does care. It cares enough to block private aid. Um, why would it want to do that? In both situations, when you ask why, you find out that there is property on the land that wants to be taken away from the people because there is government interest or corporate interest in having that land. So in North Carolina, we see that there is a lot of natural resources. Um, they have two of the largest quartz mines in the world and some of the largest lithium mines. And both of those companies wanted to get more of that land from the private citizens, but the people kept saying no because it would harm the environment. Uh, but then a natural disaster strikes and all of their property is destroyed. So whenever that happens in history, the, co the companies go in and they offer the people barely any money for their land because it's not worth anything anymore. So they get all of it for pennies on the dollar, and now it's owned by those companies. And so why would the government be almost helping those companies do that? Well, the government must have some interest. So with the quartz and lithium in North Carolina, that serves as a government interest because quartz is in AI technology. Uh, it's made for computer chips. And lithium is in EV, electric vehicles, and also AI technology. And um, I do think that we're in a unique position in human history right now where AI is the future, whether we like it or not. The country with the best AI will rule the world. This is the modern day arms race, and this is the U.S. government's efforts to make that possible so we can all we can have all of those resources be sourced in the United States and we don't have to rely on other countries to import them. Well, that would be an interesting change of pace. That doesn't seem to be the policy with any other, uh, other energy production or manufacturing. Also, what do we know about, you know, they mentioned it again during the press conference. Biden says, well, yeah, you're going to get $750, these families. I mean, that's that's hardly enough to repair somebody's life, but I guess they can claim that they've done something. Uh, maybe these uh, people that had their lives overturned by the hurricane should just find a way to get across the southern border and then they get, you know, three thousand dollars a month and probably be better exactly. off. Than them. But what about the loans? What do we know about these loans? Uh, well, we know that the seven hundred and fifty dollars for a lot of people, if they're insured, which most people are insured, then the seven hundred and fifty dollars are loans. And even better, I, I just had one of the my friends from PragerU send me a. Uh, uh, an Instagram post about how the FEMA offering lodging to people uh, is also a loan. 
they they have to pay that back. So not only are, are they not getting $750, they can't even pay for a place for these people to stay. It's incredible. And I don't think we understand the significance of being able to help people from other countries and not our own people. Um, that's not an accident. It's on purpose. The question is why. Uh, I know, I know a lot of people think that it's a target at places that vote red, which I think is certainly a possibility, but in Maui, that's blue. Um, I don't think this is discriminating against any voter base. I think it's discriminating against the American voter base, against American citizens. Um, but why in why the areas in particular that it does, that it refuses to help the people, I'm not sure. And I don't think anyone knows the answer to that. Yet. Well, I, I think that that's kind of become really the big story that, that's hit most Americans the hardest because they can try to deny it. Oh, FEMA doesn't give money to illegal immigrants. It's, it's all public information. It's mainstream news. It's been hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, really, when you add it all up in four years of the Biden-Harris administration, it'll be probably over a billion dollars actually, when, when you add it all up. And there's no denying it. They cover it on local news. They cover it on mainstream news. They cover it in the press. Um, but before I get back to uh, some, some other issues with the loans, I tend to agree. A lot of people a lot of people tend to sit in the same lane or they think that everything is just a one-way one track. And so they think, well, everything's about this 2024 election. I, I, it, it, let's say that the government or some other, some other entity decides that they want to do a hurricane to destroy this part of the United States. Let's say it's let's say it's a man-made weather weapon in order to do this. I agree. I don't think this is about the 2024 election. I think maybe it's about the lithium, maybe it's about the land. I would say that's more likely. But there's always the cause never let a good crisis go to waste. So of course the political vultures are going to try to find a way to take advantage of this for political reasons, uh whether that be affecting the vote or the voter turnout in areas they want it to exist or not exist or saying, see, man-made climate change, we need to pass all these bills and legislation. So the political vultures are always around this stuff, but not everything is about an election. Not everything is about politics. I think the land, I think the energy, the AI is a certainly an interesting issue we can get into uh, with you in a moment. But with the loans real quick, you said if they don't have insurance, so I'm trying to make sense of this. I mean, you, by law, most people have to have insurance on their home. So is it if you don't own a home, then you can get the money for free? But if you do own a home, that's when it becomes a loan? Is that the distinction? And insurance is just kind of the, the red tape? Well, yeah. If you, uh, if you don't have a home and you don't have insurance, well, none of your property got destroyed because you didn't have anything. So, yeah, they'll give you the $750 because who? how many people is that going to be? So how much money are they really wasting? Nothing it's clearly an excuse to not give up any money, which is really interesting because, you know, they're willing to give it up on a lot of other things. They're, Karine Jean-Pierre was on tape in 2022 saying that FEMA was using money for illegal immigrants. And then in 2024 saying that it was not, and that never happened. So clearly there's things that are happening and uh, they're, they're backtracking with it. It's it's very interesting to see where the money is going. I think that the bottom line of all of this is follow the money. We'll get our answers eventually, whether or not we have them all right now. Well, and it, but see, that's the same deal with Maui. It's like, okay, now that that's kind of in the rear view, are people still following it? And at the time, see, they always want to address the issue when it's right in front of them. So when the issue was the illegal immigrant invasion going into these blue cities, New York, Chicago, Denver, it was, oh, FEMA's here to relieve you. The mayors of these cities would come out. All the Democrat mayors came out and said, we can't do this. This is too much. So they called out the Biden administration for the open borders, and they said, okay, we'll give you money. We'll give you money from FEMA. Now, who knows where that money actually goes? It might go right into their pockets. But the point is, it was, oh, okay, we sent in the illegals. Here's your, the relief money from FEMA. Now it's, no, we never did that. That never happened. And the money is not there, but whatever we can scratch up, we'll, we'll give to the victims of this hurricane. So 
I think they assume the American people are too stupid, maybe, to see that that's going on, but it's not working. What about interest? Are there is, Because, look, the, you, these illegal immigrants get thousands of dollars a month. That's interest-free. That's not a loan. Are there interest if you don't pay back these loans, or what do they do? They just take your property? It seems like it. It seems like it. It seems like they just take your property. And uh, I, I think a, another big part of this is uh, why. Why are they selecting the types of people to give the money to. Um, and, and when we look at the illegal Im immigrants, especially in Colorado uh, and everywhere else, when we see them crossing the border, a lot of times they're young men. There's not a lot of families. It, there's a disproportionate amount of young men and that this money is going to because, uh, and that's interesting because usually the demographic that you would want to help uh, is women and children or the elderly. And, and that's not what this demographic is. This is working age young men. So why is this money going to them? There must be some sort of government interest. Maybe it's for votes, because we recently found out that a lot of states are registering people to vote and are not even allowed to look at people's ID to see if they're citizens. Um, and that should be very worrisome for us because that questions elect election integrity. And I know we haven't been allowed to talk about that for years, but now that that's out in the open, that states can't even look at voter regist at, at photo ID for voter registration, how can you not talk about it? Obviously, there's a conflict of interest there. Well, we know that there are lithium mines in that area. It's currently protected lands. They, they've always acted like there's going to be some sort of an oil shortage they've had different words for this o over the years that there was going to be an oil shortage it's never happened but there actually is a finite probably a lot a lot smaller amount of lithium than there is oil right now and these lithium batteries don't last forever they've exhausted a lot of these lithium mines uh they've completely devastated devastated the forests in the philippines just completely destroyed them and so I guess now they're looking. I guess now they're looking for more resources. Only time will tell if they do end up going into that. But what is the uh, what is the AI angle of that? Why, why does lithium matter when it comes to AI development? So, so the thing about lithium also is that yes, it's a finite resource, um, but the lithium industry has actually been crashing. So the price of lithium is coming way down uh, because again, even though it's finite. Uh, the biggest producer of lithium, I believe, is Australia. And it, it's being produced in a lot of places around the world. It's being mined a lot of places around the world, and they're finding a lot more of it. Um, and that's why the two of the biggest lithium companies in the US, um, Alder Albemarle and Piedmont, were losing a lot of money. Um, so the US government gave them both grants to expand their land because they couldn't do it on their own. They, they were almost bankrupt uh, just because so far, we've been importing a lot of lithium from China and other countries, and we don't want to be dependent on external sources because, as we've seen, uh, like with the unions just recently, our ports can close. Things can happen. We might not be able to import them from other places. And so we wanted to produce our own lithium, uh, and the best option for that is North Carolina. So um, the government gave them the grants. They used the grants to expand their mines. Uh, they didn't have to use all of that money because the natural disaster happened. And now they have a lot more money left over to like expand, expand the company and, and pay the people and everything. Uh, and lithium has a, a couple different uses. Most, mo I, I will say for AI, that's mostly going to be the high purity quartz and particularly high purity because uh, normal quartz aren't going to work as as well in the computer chipping. Uh, lithium, I know, has some application, I believe, in chip development as well. I don't know exactly in, in what mechanism it's involved, but that's mostly for electric vehicles and batteries. Uh, but the high purity quartz is the key for for AI. And uh, there's a lot of different so AI. A quartz, so there's a quartz involved here too. There's there's quartz mines that they want to? Yeah. So there's this town called Spruce Pine in North Carolina, and they have two of the largest quartz mines in the world, two of the largest high purity quartz mines in the world. Um, and I don't believe there is another high purity quartz mines or another high purity quartz mine that supplies anywhere near as much of the world's 
quartz as North Carolina does. I believe they supply 70% of the high purity quartz for the world's battery or for the world's um, computer chipping. Um, and so the high purity quartz was really the key here. And it's interesting because natural disaster is going to interfere with the land, but those natural resources are underground. So I believe right after the disaster struck, they said that the mines were going to close down. And uh, I am assuming, I'm willing to bet that that was to decrease the value of the land so they could offer people less money. And I would really bet a lot that sooner rather than later, they will pre be producing more high purity quartz than they ever have. It's going to come back. Well, you know, it's hard to believe anything is a coincidence when things align like this. It's one of those issues where we have to say, okay, well, time will tell. A lot of people believe that there was foul play involved with the Maui wildfires. I think there's a lot of evidence that lead to that. A lot of people yeah. believe that there was foul play involved with this hurricane that led it right into that area. And so maybe they tried to do it again with uh, with this hurricane and are trying to hit it even harder uh, but again, it's like we have to stay eyes focused on this. Otherwise, it happens a year from now and people don't really even notice. And so that's kind of the nature of the news media. Uh, but I I'm sure you'll be paying attention to this. And so where can follow you? people follow you? And, and by the way, like I said, you've been popular. I think it's on TikTok. Uh, TikTok probably is where you have your largest audience. You have a big audience on Instagram. You just kind of started to get some viral videos on X, too. Uh, that's where people were sending me your stuff saying to get you on about this. Uh, so, but, but normally you just put these short and informative videos up. This was your first live interview. So uh, glad you decided to come on here with us. So where can people follow you? So much. Um, I'm on X. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. Everywhere it's at Joy Backless Cruise, except on TikTok. I've had a couple of accounts taken down, as one does. So now it's Joy Backless Cruise backup. And how many pet reptiles do you have? <laughs> I have a snake back here and oh a gecko gosh. down there. That snake is bothering I had a me. Scorpion, he passed away. Oh, is he looking at you? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just uh, I'm not a big fan of snakes, but I'm sure it's perfectly harmless. My mom doesn't know I have him. Well, it's out now. Now she's going to see it's it. It's out now. That's right. All right, Joy. Uh, thank you so much. We'll continue to follow your reporting. And um, thank you for raising awareness about the quartz mines, the lithium mines. These are the stories, I think, that raise suspicion that, uh, yeah, if somebody wanted to devastate that area with a man-made weather weapon, there is the cause right there. All right, Joy, thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be right back. First, a message from Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen. I have only been excited about a supplement product this much, and all our products are great, a few times in the last couple decades. This is so game-changing, and, and we knew about this years ago, but I wanted to wait until we were able to get you the very best. And our sponsor, the great folks at Bigly, have come out with Ultimate CMOS. Now, this particular type of CMOS has been all the rage for years. And we got it from one of the top companies in the nation that let us private label it. They're top rated. This is a concentrate of the CMOS that doesn't just have this special type of bioavailable iodine, but all these other vitamins and minerals and then trace elements. So, so it's the way the CMOS produces and grows this that makes it probably the top superfood in the world right now. So you're supporting the broadcast, you're getting a top CMOS, and, of course, you're empowering your body, your immune system, and so much more. Now, the big one is the iodine. The type of iodine in this is extremely bioavailable. And then, again, it has all these other vitamins and minerals and trace elements and things that are connected to it. Your whole metabolic system. Then it works for your immune system. I've got a whole giant list here. Boosts energy levels, improves mental health, supports joint and muscle health, improves skin health, promotes healthy digestion, boosts immune system, supports thyroid health, and it's rich in nutrients. It, it's, it's got it all. A, C, K, uh, iron, iodine. Uh, it's potassium, magnesium, and just a whole bunch of wild stuff. Because if you just get normal vitamins, they're synthetic and don't work very well. Even if you get organic, but they're not 
naturally produced in a plant, whereas they're connected to all these other cofactors, it just doesn't have the effect. This has it all. This type of CMOS is amazing. When you go to the alexjonesstore.com, you're also ensuring that even if InfoWars gets shut down on November 13th, which it could, it's all of the news if you missed it, we will continue on with great sponsors like the alexjonesstore.com. So it's a win-win. Get a great product at a great price. It's 40% off, by the way. Support the broadcast. One way or another, it's up to you whether we're able to do this. So we try to bring you great products that you're going to love so you want to reorder them. Go to the alexjonesstore.com and get Ultimate CMOS today. And while you're there, there are now over 100 awesome T-shirt, hoodie, ball cap designs, and more at the alexjonesstore.com that have these powerful messages that spread the word of liberty. It helps you meet like-minded people. And again, it's a major sponsor that's going to be critical for me staying on the air one way or another. So we're doing a fundraiser right now through our sponsors to ensure that the globalists that are so desperate to silence us when President Trump is president-elect or if Kamala steals it, that they are pulling out all the stops to get us off the air. So I try to make it a win-win. You get a great product at a great price and you keep us on the air. Now, it's 40% off for one bottle right now. 40% off for one bottle. It's over 40% when you get two and even more when you you get three. So check it out. This is a heavy bottle. It is just filled with these bad boys. I'll show people an overhead shot of this. And you take one or two a day of these, and it just does incredible things for your whole body. Trust me. Get it. Just like our information's game changing and tomorrow's is today, this is probably the ultimate superfood out there from one of the best sources, and it supports the broadcast A360 win. So get the hoodies. Get the t-shirts. Check out all the new great designs. New ones being added daily. Get Ultimate CMOS. Check out some of the other amazing supplements while you're there at the AlexJonesStore.com, and then we're going to be able to stay on air in the face of the New World Order. It's amazing. Take action now. Ultimate CMOS, 40% off right now at the AlexJonesStore.com. All right. Thank you, Alex. Now, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got a shocking statement from Tim Walls. I mean, the things that Kamala Harris and Tim Walls have said should make them unelectable. I mean, it, it, it shouldn't even be close. So we're going to show you that and then some more just strangeness from this man. There's just something off about him. Also, a big announcement. Well, it's not official yet from the Trump campaign, but it seems like it seems like uh, something that we've been calling for or you might even say predicted is about to happen. So we'll have that. Will there be another presidential debate? Will there be another presidential debate? Fox News is trying to make that happen. We got some other poll numbers that we'll look at too. And then a terror attack on election day has been thwarted. The FBI claims an ISIS inspired terror attack from uh, an individual that I believe the Kamala Harris, Joe Biden open border let in. So yeah, you remember all those threats that we were warned about coming across the border? Did one try to plan a terror attack on election day? So we still got all of that and a big guest yet to come up on the show today. The Save Alex Jones Broadcast Limited Edition Fundraiser T-shirt is available at thealexjonesstore.com. This exclusive limited edition T-shirt is your chance to stand with Alex Jones and support the ongoing fight for free speech. Featuring the bold red InfoWars logo prominently displayed on the front, this shirt is more than just a piece of apparel. It's a statement of solidarity. Crafted from high-quality materials, the shirt also features the InfoWars.com website and an American flag on the sleeve symbolizing the fight to keep independent voices on the air. Every purchase of this t-shirt goes directly to ensuring that no matter what obstacles arise, Alex Jones will continue to broadcast the truth. Wearing this shirt means you're part of the mission to protect free speech and keep Alex Jones broadcasting. Get yours now before this limited edition sells out and wear it proudly as a defender of the truth. Visit thealexjonesstore.com right now and get the Save Alex Jones Broadcast limited edition fundraiser t-shirt now. Get yours now.